she looks really good. Her makeup, oh my God, like for the HD TV that we got, I mean. Hey, Coral friends, what's going on? Welcome to Drag Us Weekly, a show where we recap RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 6 each week, and we get to drag each other, drag the queens, and of course, you can drag us in the comments below. I'm your host, Joe Drake. And joining us this week is the fabulous, the gorgeous, and someone who recently broke the internet, Miss Kylie Sony Club. Well, thank you so much for doing this. We got to break down everything in Drag Race All Stars Episode 4. All right, it's time to get into the challenge this week. This week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Star 6 was absolutely incredible. It's probably one of my favorites of the season so far. Let's start off by talking about the challenge because we found out that RuPaul was generously giving over her songs as always, and that you ladies were picking your uh, Super Bowl halftime icons backstage. Tell me about that selection process. Okay, so when when we signed on to do All Stars, they you know they they sent us a list, a big list of people that had done the uh, Super Bowl. And we were able to pick from that. And um, I seen Steven Tyler on there and I was like, oh my God, I love Aerosmith. I think Steven Tyler is a legend. Um, and in the 90s, he was um, so androgynous to me. And I real his music really spoke to me. I was just really drawn to him. Um, and I was like, oh my God, this would be great. Not only will I... Uh, be challenging myself by being a drag king on the show, but I'm also tapping into, you know, a part of my childhood too. Um, mm -hmm. and fun with it. So, uh, you know, drag is fun and drag isn't gender specific. And I know if I can dress up like, you know, Madonna or Pink, then there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to dress up like Steven Tyler. Absolutely. Was anyone upset that you chose him? Um, I don't. I don't think anyone was upset that I chose him. I know no one else chose him, um, yeah. so I didn't have to fight over him. Okay. And, um, it was just everything that I that I've been doing on the show. It's just been a personal challenge for me. Um, yeah. And yeah, so I'm just like, this is just another thing that I want to do. You know, is is make drag fun again. What did you think of your performance watching it back? You know, I was a little bit nervous about th this episode in particular because um, my song was a ballad out of everyone else's song. And right. I was, when I first heard the song, because I was like, oh my God, I don't want to get that Thorgy Thor, like, <laughs> you know, or, you know, Stevie, Stevie Nicks um, kind of was her ticket home. Um, but uh, I changed my whole perspective when I was there and I was like, all right, girl, let's just go kill it. It is what it is. Let's do it. And uh, I watched it last night at midnight. I waited for it to come out at midnight. And, um, and I was really proud of myself. Honestly, yeah. it's uh, a thing that I haven't been used to saying to myself for quite, you know, most of my life, but I'm watching the show and I, and I'm really proud of what I'm doing. And sure. And I'm really proud of everyone else, too. Everyone else is doing such an amazing job. About what happened in the workroom? All right, let's talk about what went down in the workroom, because I'm always fascinated by the conversations that go down. So do we think that Trinity can definitely say that she is, she can claim her Beyonce now after saying that Bianca in season six called her Sammy Davis Jr. in a wig? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean... Listen, Trinity K. Bonet is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Um, is we all know that she has that gift to entertain, um, and she, out of anyone, would be, you know, the best one to kind of redeem the Beyonce character on RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, and if there's anything I know about redeeming characters on RuPaul's Drag Race, <laughs> you know, being able to come back and do you know, my Lady Gaga all over again. Um, that was really 
cool to be able to do. So like seeing Trinity go up there and kill it, I was so, super proud of her. I thought she did an amazing job. And I hope Beyonce yeah. sees I hope she sees it too. One of the things I also loved was Akira telling Trinity, I don't care how much pubic hair you put on your face, I'm not calling you Trey. <laughs> yeah, because, okay, so let me tell you thing. All, um, her and Trinity would always uh, glue hairs on them whenever they were boys. So for oh. their inner are <laughs> they just wanted to be a boy that day in the workroom, they would like glue hair to their face. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's where that comes from. I so that kind of kind of grossed me out a little bit if it's pubic yeah. hair. Right. But, but it does look like pubic hair. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen it drag king and they just cut the, they'll cut like pieces of their own hair off and they'll put it in a bag and then they'll just like put like uh the glue on and just put the hair on it. I'm like, okay, I've seen drag kings do it forever. Oh, um God. so yeah. Well, well, this poses the question. Who do you think is the trade of All-Star 6? Uh, well, first of all, none of them queens are, except for me. I'm the trade of the season. What the f Yeah, why is no one saying Kylie? I don't know. Because they're gay and they're, they're, they like men. That, that's <laughs> what I mean, that they don't think I'm trade up in there. Um, but in my own fantasy, I'm the trade of anybody who likes the girls. So... All right, let's move on and talk about this week's runway. All right, let's talk about that iconic runway because this was probably one of my favorites in Drag Race history of all seasons, all all-star seasons, you name it. This was incredible. You guys looked amazing. Besides yourself, who did you love? I really loved Jan's runway. Like, her runway yeah. was amazing. Yeah, um, it was probably one of her best looks ever. A hundred percent. Um, she looks really good. Her makeup, oh my god, like for the HD TV that we got. I mean, <laughs> it, oh right. Um, yeah, I thought Jan, and I'm not just saying that because she won. I'm saying that because she really did do the thing as Gaga. Um, yeah. but I really loved her runway, honestly. And if you had to pick someone you didn't love, let's be shady. Who didn't you love? Who didn't I love? Um, I'll start and help you by saying, I thought Trinity looked good, but it was a little too pageanty for me for the challenge of the runway. Yeah, it wasn't as freely. It yeah. had ruffle, but it wasn't, it didn't scream like, like ultra freely. And it was uh, frills of it all. Was in, right. Uh, um, yeah, I think Trinity kind of played it a little safe on the runway. Yeah. Um, I felt really bad for Yada because, you know, I think she was thinking fringe. And, you know, when you bring what you bring, it's, it's really hard to, like, change it up. Right. Uh, I thought stunning, though. I thought Trinity looked stunning, too. But as far as the runway goes, um, I don't know. This was a really tough one because I thought everyone looked very beautiful. But my probably my least favorite. I'm trying to think in my head. One of my favorites was uh, uh, Akira too. I oh, forget. unbelievable! Like insane. Insane. Um, uh, least favorite. I'm trying to think. Oh man, why y'all want me to be shady? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to call her after I tell tell you this. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Um, my my least favorite one, I I think might have been Eureka's. I'm not gonna lie. Although like she looked beautiful, I don't know. I I think yeah. I think Eureka's way was probably if I had to pick one that was like not my favorite one was that one. But she didn't look bad. She looked amazing. Yeah. Make sure you put that in there. I will. Um, Eureka's a good friend of mine. I love her. It was a lot of a look. It was a lot of look. <laughs> it, yeah, it was. Um, and I think that's all, really. It, it's just, I, I probably wouldn't wear it, but like for, her, but it looked good on her. Like she looked amazing. Yeah. Uh, but that was probably my least favorite one, only because I couldn't see myself wearing it. Yeah, I mean, even as her friend, I was. I thought she was going to be in the bottom. I was a little nervous for her. 
Oh, really? Okay. A little bit, a little bit. It's so weird when you're actually there doing it and then when you're at home watching it because I don't know. It, it's so weird, but it's, I feel like everybody looks so good. This, this season of all stars, it's like, it's such a different vibe. And I yeah. feel like everybody is just looks really good. And everyone who's going home, they look good going home, which is I know. Really, really like not the case when someone right. goes home, it's like their bad day, they didn't look good. Something was completely off, but here it's just like, you know, the luck of the draw really. Tell us about your spectacular look, because speaking of trade, you really gave us both, Jen, you gave us, you know, uh, Steven Tyler, and then you came out looking stunning on the runway. Oh, I'm really glad that th that challenge fit with that runway because, you know, I was doing a, a male character mm -hmm. who flamboyant, but... Um, I really wanted, I really wanted to be over the top girly and this frills of it all uh, runway is supposed to be extremely girly. And um, it just so happened that those challenges and runways were together and I loved it. It, it was an outfit, the ruffle part of it come from, uh, from Be Kala. Um, it The way I wore it is not the way that it was made to wear. Okay. I kind of up in the in the workroom um and i attached a rhinestone bra uh to it i added these bows to it made sure you know you could see my leg and everything um i i felt gorgeous it was one of my favorite runways um that i've done so far i felt extremely beautiful and extremely girly and i loved it it was great, it was great. All right, now let's move on to see which queen came out on top. All right, let's move on to the top queen of the week. Miss Jan finally won a challenge. Absolutely, I'm so proud of her. Um, it's a long time coming and sometimes I feel like, you know, girls go on the show and in hopes that they win something that they're already good at doing. And I think that's kind of like a missed opportunity. Why? You already know that. You don't need someone to tell you that you're already good at what you know you're already good at. And right. so for her to be able to just go and do her best and get recognition for it and kill it on the runway, I think she completely deserves it. Um, I thought she did a good job. Um, she, she had a lot of hard choreography to do. Yeah. And yeah, and I, she looked the part. So I'm really proud of her, and, I'm, and I hope she's proud of herself, too. Yeah, I bet she is. And if there's a top, there most certainly is a bottom. All right, where there's a top, there is a bottom. Did you agree that Akira and Yara should have been the bottom, too? You know, that's really hard for me to answer that question because both of them, I watched how hard they worked um, when every day that we would come to set and um, especially Akira during her Super Bowl number, I watched her and she was giving it her all like the like the the fight in her eyes. I was looking at her right in her eyes. She did not yeah. see her all the time. And I could just see that drive in her. And I was like, oh my God, it inspired me. Yeah. Um, and I just think that Yada is amazing like she always knows how to put a look together she's super talented um so it, it was it was really tough to see those two in the bottom um but you know we're getting down you know each week and everybody that's been there has been amazing so somebody amazing each week has to go and i you know i'm i'm glad it wasn't me um and i feel bad for them but yeah. I think that the choices were right, I guess. I don't know. I still feel so weird saying that. I know, it's weird. But, it, you know, we you're right. We are in the point of the, the game, if you will, of all of you amazing ladies just nailing it week after week. And it's like the name of the game is someone's got to go. So let's start nitpicking, you know. that's the. Do you agree that Yara should have gone? Yeah, that's also a tough question, too. Um, I think, I mean, honestly, it could have went either way, Akira or Yada in that instance. Yada had been in the bottom twice, but she won one right. week. Um, 
and she was in the top the next week, you know, that she was in the bottom. So she, her, her, uh, track record was like up and down, but like evenly, you know, she balanced it. Um, as a curia, uh, was, I think safe the first week, second week, she was in the bottom third week. She was in the bottom. Yeah. In the bottom with Silky. Yeah. Yeah. She's been in the bottom. Yes. I mean, maybe Akira should have went home, but I think Akira's runway really. I was just going to say that runway saved her. I'm telling you. Yeah. That runway saved her a hundred percent. For sure. And finally, it's time to chat about this week's lip sync. Last but not least, let's talk about the secret lip sync assassin, Miss Jessica Wilde. It was so great to see her again. Were you dying? I was so happy to see my season two sister, Jessica Wilde. I feel like she um, was amazing when she was on season two. And I've gotten to work with her over the years. Um, I, excuse me. I lived in uh, California for like 10 years and And she had moved there too. And we got to see each other a lot. And she's super consistent. I don't know where the f*** she gets all this energy from when she's on stage. (laughs) Literally all her numbers are that to the extreme. And I'm out. No offense, but Jan didn't stand a chance. Up next, (laughs) while Jessica Wilde's been doing it forever. You know what I mean? She's a pro. Um, And Jan is an amazing performer, but... Jessica has uh, a lot more time and experience under right. her belt. Well, that's what I realized when Jessica came out. I was like, holy <laughs> season two queen, the iconic Jessica Wild versus a season 12 queen, Jan, who's in- incredible, 10, 10 season different, and Jessica can still serve. Yep, it's, it's amazing. And that's why I love season two so much. I feel like season two was the the glow up cast of the entire franchise. Right. Uh, we were fierce, but we were babies. We were all babies on that season. And, and we're all still kicking. And if you look at our cast, I, I just feel like we have one of the best glow ups out of all the seasons. The Big season two. I love season two. I've been watching since episode one, day one, season one. And season two was incredible. Do you think Jessica Wilde will do an all-star season? I'm really hoping that they ask her. I I believe, if I'm correct, um, I think Rue, I don't know if they showed it on the show, but I think she had, like, dropped the hint to her when we were in there um, and Jessica came out that she would like to have her back. Yes. I mean, I feel like Laganja nailed it, Jessica nailed it. These assassins um, with these yeah, queens. I- Bring Coco back too. Come on, let's just have all the assassins from six. Sounds like an easy idea. They're already there. <laughs> oh my, yeah, they have. They, I, I think Coco should come back. I definitely um, feel Brooklyn should come back. Everybody they've yeah. had so far would be amazing on like the next season of All Stars. Amazing. Well, Kylie, I love chatting with you. Before I let you go. I know we haven't seen it yet, and you haven't seen it, I'm assuming, since you filmed it. What can we expect for episode five? Um, episode five. Um, I think we're going to get a little bit more personal on episode five. Okay. Um, and, it, and it's just going to be interesting because, honestly, I kind of forgot what the hell. <laughs> what happened? Uh, yeah, what the hell happened. I know what we do but I forget what happened. I blacked out. I love it. Well, it was so long ago. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Come back anytime. And I hope to see you make it all the way, baby. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I, I, anytime you want to get an interview, honey, just hit me up. I will. I will. Thank you so much. I'll talk soon. Thanks, love. Bye-bye.